As you might know, NASA has sent a spacecraft called Lucy to explore some of the most ancient and mysterious asteroids in the solar system. Lucy is on a 12-year journey to visit eight different asteroids, including a main belt asteroid and seven Trojan asteroids that share Jupiter's orbit. One of these Trojans, named Dinkanesh, is a special and interesting asteroid. It is about 100 kilometers across, has a weird shape, orbits in a chaotic way, and has a rich history. But what makes Dinkanesh even more fascinating is that it has two smaller companions, one of which is a contact binary, which is a pair of objects that are touching each other as they orbit around a common center of mass. In this video, we will take a closer look at the latest images of Dinkanesh and its companions, taken by Lucy spacecraft. We will learn how the contact binary was discovered, how it might have formed and evolved, and what it can tell us about the origins of the solar system. So, buckle up and get ready for an amazing journey to the realm of the Trojans. Lucy spacecraft was launched on October 16, 2021, from Cape Canaveral, Florida. It used a powerful Atlas Faith rocket to escape Earth's gravity and head towards the outer solar system. Along the way, Lucy will perform several flybys of Earth, Mars, and Jupiter to adjust its trajectory and speed. The first target is Dinkanesh, which it will encounter in April 2025. But before that, Lucy has already started to observe Dinkanesh and its companions from a distance, using its high-resolution camera and other instruments. The first image of Dinkanesh and its companions was taken by Lucy on October 16, 2023, exactly two years after its launch. At that time, the spacecraft was about 1.5 million kilometers away from Dinkanesh, which is about four times the distance between Earth and the Moon. The image showed Dinkanesh as a bright dot, surrounded by two fainter dots. These are the two companions of Dinkanesh, which are much smaller and dimmer than Dinkanesh itself. The larger companion, nicknamed Big Lucy, is about 20 kilometers across, while the smaller companion, nicknamed Little Lucy, is about 10 kilometers across. The three objects form a triple system, orbiting around a common center of mass. The second image of Dinkanesh and its companions was taken by Lucy on October 18, 2023, when it was about 900,000 kilometers away from Dinkanesh, which is about twice the distance between Earth and the Moon. The image showed Dinkanesh and its companions in more detail, revealing some surprising features. The most striking feature was that Little Lucy was not a single object, but a contact binary, which is a pair of objects that are touching each other as they orbit around a common center of mass. The two components of Little Lucy are roughly spherical, each about five kilometers across. They are oriented in such a way that their long axis is perpendicular to the line connecting them to Dinkanesh. This means that they are tidally locked, meaning that they always show the same face to Dinkanesh, just like the moon does to Earth. Little Lucy is the first contact binary ever discovered among the Trojans, and one of the few known in the solar system. How do contact binaries form? Well, there are several possible scenarios, depending on the size, shape, and environment of the original objects. One scenario is that contact binaries form by collision, when two objects smash into each other at low speed and stick together. Another scenario is that contact binaries form by accretion, when two objects gradually grow together by collecting dust and debris from their surroundings. A third scenario is that contact binaries form by fission, when a larger object splits into two smaller objects due to rotational instability or external forces. But how do contact binaries evolve? There are many factors that affect the stability and dynamics of contact binaries, such as gravity, rotation, tides, and external perturbations. Gravity is the main force that holds the two components together, but it also causes stress and deformation on their surfaces. Rotation drives the orbital motion of the two components, but it also causes centrifugal force and angular momentum transfer. Tides are the force that synchronizes the rotation and orbit of the two components, but they also cause heat dissipation and orbital decay. External perturbations are the main force that disturbs the orbit and orientation of the contact binary, but they also provide opportunities for escape or capture. However, 
Contact binaries can have various types and shapes, depending on the mass ratio, separation, and elongation of the two components. Some contact binaries are bilobed, meaning that they have two distinct lobes connected by a narrow neck. Other binaries are peanut-shaped, meaning that they have two smooth lobes joined by a smooth waist. Others are dumbbell-shaped, meaning that they have two spherical lobes attached by a flat face. Contact binaries are quite common in the solar system, especially among the small bodies, such as asteroids, comets, and Kuiper belt objects. Some of the most famous contact binaries are Ultima Thule, Arakoth, Cleopatra, and Antiope. Ultima Thule and Arakoth are two Kuiper Belt objects that were visited by NASA's New Horizons spacecraft in 2019 and 2020, respectively. They are both bilobed contact binaries, with Ultima Thule having a red color and Arakoth having a blue color. Cleopatra and Antiope are two main belt asteroids that were observed by various telescopes and spacecraft, such as Hubble, VLT, and Dawn. They are both dumbbell-shaped contact binaries, with Cleopatra having two metal-rich lobes and Antiope having two carbon-rich lobes. Contact binaries provide clues about the early stages of the solar system, such as the formation of planetesimals, the accretion of planets, and the evolution of orbits. Planetesimals are the building blocks of planets, and they are believed to have formed by the coagulation of dust and ice in the protoplanetary disk. Contact binaries are the remnants of these planetesimals, and they can reveal their composition, structure, and history. Planets are the result of the collision and merger of planetesimals, and they are shaped by the interactions with other planets and the Sun. Contact binaries are the witnesses of these processes, and they can show their effects on the size, shape, and orbit of the small bodies. These objects can help us test and refine our models and theories of the solar system, such as the NICE model, the Grand Tack model, and the Pebble Accretion model. The NICE model is a theory that explains how the giant planets migrated from their original positions to their current ones, due to the gravitational interactions with the disk of small bodies. The Grand Tack model is a theory that explains how Jupiter and Saturn reverse their direction of migration, due to the feedback from the gas in the disk. The Pebble Accretion Model is a theory that explains how the planets grew rapidly due to the efficient collection of small pebbles from the disk. Contact binaries can help us test and refine these models and theories by providing constraints on the initial conditions, the timescales, and the outcomes of these scenarios. They also can help us compare and contrast the solar system with other planetary systems by showing the diversity, frequency, and distribution of contact binaries in different environments. The solar system is not the only planetary system in the universe, and there are many other systems that have different properties and histories. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new and interesting. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we will try to answer them. Thank you for watching and see you next time.